Hallelujah. Amen, church, people online. Are we satisfied? Amen. Are we blessed? Let everyone who were blessed say, Jesus! Jesus. Hallelujah. I hope that uh, there is a room left for us for the main meal. Amen? Uh, that's just uh, a taster. But uh, yeah, thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for the grace that He has bestowed for us so far this morning. Amen, church. Can I please invite each and every one, if you please may stand up to welcome the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord this afternoon can be found in the first letter of uh, the first letter of Peter, chapter four, and I will uh, start reading. From verse 7, it says in here, Bless your word, O Lord. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded in self-control so that you can pray. Amen? I will read that again. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray. Verse 8, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. 9, Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Verse 10, Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. Verse 11, If anyone speaks, he should do it as one is speaking the very words of God. If anyone serve, he should do it with the strength God provides, so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Father, thank you very much for the reading of your words. Lord, indeed we are so blessed. Thank you how you have graced us so far with your presence this morning. But Father God, we are not contented because we know and we do believe that you are not finished yet, Father. Lord, we thank you so much as well because by faith, we know that through the words that you have prepared upon your servant this afternoon, we know, O oh Lord Jesus, that there are yet many things that we are to learn from you. Not only that we are going to learn this afternoon of your ways, but Father, allow us to learn another facet of who you are. Our Lord, our Jesus, our Master and Savior. Lord, it is my personal prayer that you open each and every heart Open each and every mind. Open each and every soul, O oh God. Open whatever, each and every senses, Father God. So that, Lord, your people, my brothers and sisters, whether they, be, they were gathered here with us this afternoon or people who are joining us online, that each and every one of us, Lord, will corporately receive the unique message that you have for each and every one of us. Lord, may these very words that you allow your servant to share this afternoon, I pray that it may it minister to my brothers and sisters in the same way and in the same manner 
that it has ministered to your servant. Lord, with this, by faith, Father God, according to the measure that you have given us, we take authority over all the works of the enemy. And we render it powerless, any works and wiles and schemes that will try to disturb, distract, and hinder us in receiving fully from you this afternoon. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for again, the wonderful opportunity and privilege to be able to share His words. The wonderful opportunity and privilege to be able, my dear brothers and sisters, to spend this afternoon with all of you, whether you are in this hall or whether you are online in fellowship. Amen? Sabi nga ni Brother Alan, I am blessed knowing that you are here. Amen? Eh, sabihin natin sa ating mga katabi, tell it to our brothers and sisters, I am blessed that you are all here. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Allow me, my dear brothers and sisters, to just read those passages again. Okay? Siguro this time, let's, I just want us to uh, read the whole chapter of uh, Peter. Nabasa na natin yung, we have already read the, chap, uh, the verse 7 to 11, laktawan natin yan. But let us read the remaining verses on the chapter. Are you ready? If you please can, uh, uh, you can project. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, a sign of, uh, a sign of a committed serious believer you want me to reveal one of the signs. Huh? It is not the ultimate sign, but one of us, the sign of a committed and serious believer. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, you do not go to war without your weapon. Amen. Don't come to church without your Bible. So, uh, Nick, uh, this week, payamanin natin si Amazon. Let's order our Bibles. Amen. Billy, maganda kasi it's very it is very good because as someone who is um, uh, uh, sharing the word and if something kinda ministered to you pwede nyong i-underline pwede nyong um, i-mark and even you can write on it you can write on it that is uh, uh, the best way one of the best way to study the word of God Amen Hallelujah. Because our brain can only contain as much. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord in 1 Peter, beginning at verse 1, it says in here, Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourself also with the same attitude. Because he who has suffered in his body is done with sins. Malinaw? As a result, he does not live the rest of his earthly life for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. For you have spent enough, enough time in the past doing what the pagans choose to do, that is living in devotery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detestable idolatry. They think it's strange that you do not plunge with them into the same flood of dissipation. And they heap abuse on you. But they will have to give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel was preached even to those who are now dead so that they might be judged according to men in regard to the body, but live according to God in regard to the Spirit. Let's jump. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful trials you are suffering, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice, that you participate in the suffering of Christ, 
so that you may be overjoyed when His glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any kind of criminal or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear the name. For it is time for judgment to begin with the family of God, and it begins with us. What will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? In verse 19, So then, those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful Creator and continue to do good. Hallelujah, my dear brothers and sisters. It is very clear, napakalinaw, it's very clear in verse 16, it says in there, However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed. So my dear brothers and sisters, dito pa lang in this passage alone, it addresses you and me, it addresses the believer as Christians. Amen po. Amen? So if you like, the title of our message today is Serving the King, Serving Our Master, Our Savior, Our Christ, Despite of the Suffering. Amen. I was blessed with that song earlier. The one thing the one thing I ask is to be with you, Lord. Amen. How can you be with the Lord if you are not going to follow where the Lord goes? Amen, church. Amen. If you are not going to follow, maiiwan ka. The Lord will be there. You are here. You cannot be with the Lord if you are not going to follow. Amen. Amen. Kaya the prerequisite of that song, the one thing, the one thing I ask is to be where you are. But in order for us to be where the Lord is, we need to follow. Amen, church? Are you getting it? Amen? And you know what? It is very easy to follow the Lord. Do you agree with me? It is very easy to follow the Lord. If the Lord's will and our will are aligned. My challenge is, how about those moments that our will is separated from the will of the Lord? That is where the challenge comes. Diba? Napakagandang, napakadaling maging kristyano Kung yung ating minimithi ay naka-align sa Panginoon. Papaano kung yung gusto nating gawin is hindi yun yung gusto ng Panginoon. Di ba? Mahirap. Mahirap. Amen. So I want to encourage you with this message from the Lord this afternoon with the title that Serving the Lord Serving the King, serving our Jesus despite of the suffering. Amen, church. In verse 16, what does it address us? It address us as Christian. Amen. Do we believe that we are a Christian? Do we agree with the text that we are a Christian? Amen, church. Amen. The word Christian, I know that we know this already. The word Christian is derived from a Greek word, Christianos, meaning the followers of Christ. Amen, church. 
It means the follower of Christ. It means someone who belong to Christ. Belonging to Christ in the context that someone who is a slave or a servant of Christ. Amen, church? Amen? Tell your brother or your sister, do you know that you are a servant of Christ? <coughs> you are not just a follower, but you are a servant of Christ. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, if we understand 1 Peter chapter 4 that we have read today, mga kapatid, it was given emphasis on this text that as a Christian, basahin ko ulit, Verse 1, Therefore, since Christ, who is Christ? Christ is our master. Christ is the one we follow. Amen. We are servant of Christ. Ano yung sabi niya sa verse 1? Because Christ suffered in His body, be realistic. Arm yourself with the same attitude. Amen, church. What does it mean? Ano po ang gusto niyang sabihin dito, mga kapatid? It is telling us that because Jesus Christ has suffered in the flesh, we as His follower, we as His servant, should expect to experience suffering also in this life. Amen, church? We follow Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ suffered enormously. Amen. Well, it was part of His mission. It was part of His purpose to suffer in the flesh. That's the reason why there are two kinds of Messiah. One Christ, one Jesus his first coming, He is known as the suffering Messiah, the suffering Christ. That is who He is. But in the second coming, when He returns, He's going to be the conquering King. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So therefore, kung sinasabi natin, if we attribute ourselves that we are a Christian, that we are a follower of Christ, that we are a servant of Christ. If we are to continue and follow the mission of Christ in this world, in this flesh, expect hardship. Amen, church? Amen. Expect hardship. No one is exempted. Not even these children. These children are being jeered. These children are being prepared. In becoming a servant, it is more than coming and enjoy serving the Lord. There will be hardship. There will be suffering. Amen. Amen. But this afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, let us allow the word of God to come forth and exhort us. Amen, church. That is the human nature. If there is a suffering, if He says that, Lord, if you are telling us that there is a suffering, what do we need? What do we need if there is suffering? We need comfort. Amen? We need relief. We need to be reassured that these sufferings are not permanent. We need to reassure that there is an end to this tunnel. Amen, church? So this afternoon, let us be comforted and exhorted from the Word of God. Amen, church? So it says in there, we need to understand what these sufferings are. In order for us to be comforted, we need to understand what these sufferings are. Kailangan nating maintindihan itong mga pighati, paghihirap, suffering na ito. Amen, church? And if we jump, it says in here, in verse 7, 
The end of all things is near. Amen. The end of all things is near. All things, including our, including our suffering. Amen, church. Amen. All things is coming to an end. Amen. All things are nearing the end. When you say all things, everything including our suffering. Amen, church? Amen. Hindi ba, with that alone, hindi ba kayo naku-comfort that nagsasuffer ka? But with the promise of the Lord that saying that, you know what? That suffering will near its end. It is ending. Amen. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, dito pa lang, it is a big word of comfort that saying yung pinagdadaanan mo, yung suffering mo, it is temporary. Amen, church? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. These sufferings are temporary. The end of all things is at hand. Amen, church. Abut kamay na natin. Abut kamay mo na. Amen. When that suffering is temporary. Amen, my dear brothers and sisters. That comes with all the symptoms and signs that comes with it. Ano po yung symptoms ng suffering? Pain, hurt, anything, everything. Amen, church. And these are all temporary. Amen. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 to 18, and I'm going to use the God's Word translation. It kind of ministered to me personally. It says in here, my dear brothers and sisters, Our suffering is light and temporary. Wow! Our suffering is light, magaan, temporary. Amen. Panandalian lamang. Amen. But look what it does. Tingnan nyo kung ano yung idudulot nito. And it is producing for us an eternal glory that is greater than anything we can imagine. Ito yata yung binasa mo nung Friday boots, no? Is this the same as your passage, Friday practice? Our suffering is light and temporary, and it is producing for us an eternal glory that is greater than anything we can imagine. We don't look for things that can be seen, but for the things that cannot be seen. Things that can be seen are only temporary, but things that cannot be seen last forever. Amen, church? Basing sa understanding, basing on my understanding, sa aking simpleng pagkakaintindi rito, mga kapatid, is the Lord wants us to realize this comparison. Amen. The Lord wants us to realize this comparison that whatever you are experiencing on earth that includes your suffering is only light and temporary. Amen. Amen. Is only light and momentary. Kung ikukumpara mo for the glory that is to come. Amen, church? If we are to measure it by time, if we are to measure it by time, my dear brothers and sisters, kung may stopwatch ka and you begin to activate it the moment you experience this suffering, gaano man yan katagal? One hour, one day, one week, one month, one year, ten years, twenty years, forty years, that is momentary considering the eternal glory in Christ na magiging kapalit. Amen, church? Amen. 
the life of man is 120 years old. How old are you, Linda? Sorry. 65. Okay, let's say Linda is 65. Okay? But Linda can always look back and say that, oh, where are those 65 years gone? Amen. But you know, when you are in eternity, there is no measurement. Amen. Amen, church. But if we are going to weigh it, if we are going to compare it by the, the magnitude of weight, kung titimbangin natin, mga kapatid, it says in there, these sufferings are light, magaan. Amen. Comparing to the weight, the gravity, the magnitude that you're going to spend with the Lord through eternity. Amen, church. Because of this, my dear brothers and sisters, the encouragement from this pulpit is do not lose heart. Amen. Do not lose heart. Do not give up. Even the suffering that you are experiencing is unbearable. Have you experienced those moments where your suffering is as if unbearable? Parang hindi mo kaya? It's as if there is no end to that tunnel. But my dear brothers and sisters, with this promise of the Lord this afternoon, if you allow me, I want to encourage you all, do not lose heart. Amen. Do not give up. When the suffering is overwhelming you, hold on. Amen. It won't be long. Amen, church. Mr. Mayan, come. Mika. Oh, hold me. And I hold you. Hold someone. Preferably, kung kasama nyo, asawa nyo, yung asawa nyo. <laughs> Amen. Hold someone, my dear brothers and sisters, and encourage them. Encourage them. Hold on. Hold on. It won't be long. Shame with you. Encourage mo rin ako. Hold on. It won't be long. Amen, church. Ano man yung iyong pagdadaanan pa, whatever suffering is there to come, hold on. It won't be long. Amen, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Revelations 3.11 Jesus Himself said, I am coming soon. Amen. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your price. No one will take your crown. Amen, church. Amen. So to everyone who is going through something, kaano man ito kaliit or kaano man yan kalaki, hold on. It won't be long. Everything is coming to an end. All the sufferings are temporary. Amen, church. Amen. Second number two, it says in verse seven, not only that the sufferings are temporary, it says in here, therefore be clear-minded and apply self-control. Amen. In the midst of this suffering, it says in there, tackle this suffering, address this suffering, having a clear mind, and be in control. Do not let this suffering overwhelm you. You should stand on top of those sufferings. Be in control. Amen, church? Amen. It says in there, these sufferings are tolerable. Amen? Amen. <coughs> These sufferings are tolerable. <coughs> Amen, church? In Christ, if we are in Christ, sabi natin, the one thing, the one thing I ask 
is to follow you, is to be where you are. When Jesus Christ suffered for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, diba? He was with a sober mind. He was in control. Amen, church? So with all this suffering, my dear brothers and sisters, as just our King and Master Savior Jesus Christ have proved to us this anguish, this heartache, this sorrow, we can bear it. Amen, church? We can bear it. Carry your cross, the Lord Jesus Christ said. He did not say, kung kaya mo. He did not say, if you can. He did not say, if you are capable. Jesus Christ believed in you. That's why he said, carry your cross. No ifs, no buts. Amen. Amen. So this cross of anguish, this cross of pain, this cross of suffering, this cross of hurt, carry them. Amen. Carry them, my dear brothers and sisters. Amen, church? Alam natin that as a human being, it is humanly natural, it is humanly scientific to feel all this. Na maramdaman natin itong mga to. That we can feel the pain, that we can feel the hurt, that we can feel the anguish, that we can feel the sorrow, that we can feel the heartache. But in Philippians 4.8, it teaches us that although it is understandable to feel, to experience, to think about this, but Ephesians 4.8 encourages us to think about the things that are trustworthy, that are praiseworthy, the things that are excellent. Amen! Amen! What are these things? These are the things that are true. These are the things that are noble. These are the things that are right. These are the things that are pure, lovely, admirable. Amen, church? Amen. Amen. It is a human nature to think about all this, but in the spirit, we are being encouraged to divert your attention, take away your attention from all of this. Focus into this. Jesus, focus on Christ. Focus on Christ. Amen, church? That's what being self-controlled is. Diba? That's what being self-controlled is. Who among you in here, especially adult? Napaso, magngangawa ng iyak. Are you going to do that? No. Even you probably will blow it, but you try to control it. Amen, church. Especially in the presence of your children. Oy, si dad, si mom, Texas, matibay. Yung pala, iyak na iyak ka na, pero masakit. But that's what being self-controlled is. It is normal, it is natural to feel all this natural um, uh, manifestation of this suffering but it says in there think about what is excellent and praiseworthy focus on Christ Amen church Amen. and it also says in here not only that we apply self-control but be of sober mind what does sober mind means Thinking about the reality. Yung binasa nating verse 1. Because Jesus Christ suffered in the flesh, expect natin that we will suffer in the flesh. Amen, church? Parents, if you send your children to the army, expect them to end up being destitute. Expect them to end up hunger. Expect them na papayat sila. Amen? That's what the army training is. So even as, as being as a Christian, our Master and Lord Jesus Christ suffered, so we expect to experience suffering, di ba? That's what being sober mind meaning. Maging realistic tayo. Amen, church? 
Being sober mind is expecting the reality. Amen? Hallelujah. And 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, it says in there, Share in the suffering as a good soldier of Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. You want to be labeled as a good soldier of Christ? Then expect suffering. Amen, church? Amen. Who are people here who are suffering at the moment? Amen. Anyone? People online, sino po yung mga kapatid dito who are suffering at the moment? Amen. Thank you, Lord, for my suffering because through them, I have a part in you. Amen, church. If you are suffering for Christ, what I say is hallelujah, praise the Lord. Because you have a part in Christ. Amen, church? Amen. Amen. Please lang magingat kayo sa paglabas nyo. Baka natapilok kayo. That's not the suffering that we are thinking. Amen. Nabukulan, dumugo. That's not the suffering that we're saying. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for the life of His people that according to the word of the Lord, like Every day we are like a sheep going to be slaughtered because of the gospel of Christ, because of the word of the Lord. Because through that, we share in Christ. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. Number three, my dear brothers and sisters, in the same verse, not only that the suffering is gonna, um, not only that the suffering is momentary and temporary, not only that in the suffering it gives us a clear mind and self-control. It says in in here so that you can pray. So, siguro sometimes we are being distant from the Lord. Siguro sometimes lumalayo tayo sa panginoon. That's why sometimes the Lord talks in various ways. I was so blessed in our Bible study last Friday. Duke Eman shared, and it says in there that there are multiple ways where God speaks to us. And sometimes, kung hindi tayo makuha sa santong dasalan, sometimes the Lord speaks through our suffering as well. But it says in there that the suffering allows us to come in pray as well. Amen, church. Amen. But you know yung what I understand in here that it says in there that so that you can pray. It is good that the suffering will bring us to the presence of the Lord para makapag-pray tayo sa Panginoon. But you know yung the bigger message sa akin dito is our suffering, especially kung nag-pray-pray ka na, bakit nagsasuffer ka pa rin? Our suffering aligns our prayer in the Lord. Amen, church? Suffering aligns our prayer in the Lord. Amen, church? I want to, ble I want to read yung uh, version niya sa Amplified. It says in here, so that you may pray. For the purpose of your prayer is staying in balance and focus on the things of God so that you can co your communication to God will be clear, reasonable, specific, and pleasing to Him. Hallelujah! Amen! Amen. Not only that this suffering will lead us into prayer, but this suffering will align our prayers. Amen, Amen church? Amen. Our Savior, our Master, the one we follow, our model. Kilala nyo po siya? Gusto nyo ilink ko kayo? Do you know him? Do you know him? Have you got his Facebook? What is his name? Jesus! Amen, church! 
presence of mind para hindi tayo mawala. Sometimes we're just trying to ano no? No? Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was at the peak, when Jesus Christ is about to enter the peak of his suffering, when Jesus Christ was praying in the garden of Gethsemane, this suffering did not let Jesus to pray, no. Because Jesus was constantly praying. Amen. But what did this suffering brought Jesus? Is this suffering aligned his prayers to the Father? Amen, church? Amen. Father, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Amen, church? Aligning his prayer to the will of God. Amen, church? So my dear brothers and sisters, my encouragement is in the midst of your suffering, do not only come and pray to the Lord, but in your prayer, align your prayer to the Lord. Align your prayer to the will of God. Amen? In your prayer, submit to His will. Amen, church? Instead of trying to manipulate His plans. Amen? Align your heart rather than trying to change the heart of the Lord to favor the things na ayaw, mong, ayaw niyang gawin mo. Di ba? Amen, church? Amen. Lord, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. A perfect prayer. Amen, church. Amen. Hello. Amen. Lord, if you are willing, take this illness, take this sickness, take this condition away from me. Amen. But Lord, if that is not your will, pwede ba? Gawit, gamin mo yung sakit ko bilang isang testimony. Amen, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So just a quick recap. These sufferings, according to the verse 7 na binasa natin is, they are momentary. Amen. These sufferings lead us to a place of being self-control and of sober mind. And number three, this suffering aligns our prayers in the Lord. Amen. Amen. So let us continue to serve the Lord in spite of the suffering. Amen, church. Second, my dear brothers and sisters, continue serving the Lord. What did it say in verse 8? Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Amen. So sa ating pagsisilbi sa Panginoon, diba, the title of our message is Serving in Spite of Suffering. Amen. We were able to discuss what this suffering can lead us into. Now I just want to share to you what would be the kind of service na may offer natin sa Panginoon in the midst of this suffering. It says in here, my dear brothers and sisters, in verse 8, di ba? Serve with genuine love. Amen. Serve with genuine love. Dapat yung pagsisilbi natin sa Panginoon in the midst of suffering, dapat makatutuhanan. Dapat totoo. Amen, church says in here, above all, love each other deeply because love covers over the multitude of sins. Amen. So in serving the Lord, we need to serve the Lord with genuine love. A love that is not genuine is not love. Amen. Amen, church. A love that is not genuine is not love at all. You know, when we talk about the topic of love in the Bible, 
all of a sudden, everyone becomes expert about the topic of love in the Bible. Diba? Do you agree? Yeah. We talk about, if I say, okay, can everyone tell something about love? I'm sure that everyone can tell something about love. When we talk about the topic of love in the Bible, everyone become expert. But there is the greatest love in the Bible that describes God who He is. That describes God as being love. First John 4, 8, diba? God is love. What is this kind of love that describes who Jesus is? The kind of love that forgives the multitude of sins. Amen, church? Amen. That is the greatest kind of love in the Bible. That love that forgives the multitude of sins. In Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 to 22, Peter came to Jesus one day and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sinned against me? Up to seven times? One day a week? Sorry, brother. Sorry, sister. Nakuha mo na yung kota mo ngayong araw. Balik ka bukas. Is that seven days a week? But what did Jesus say? I tell you, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Again, it's not figuratively bring out your calculator and say 70 times seven, magbibinggo ka na, iso na lang. No, it means perfection. It means that there is no limit. Amen, church. That is the kind of love that describes who God is in the Bible. That love that covers not only your single sin, but your multitude of sins. Someone will accept Jesus today, and after a while, they go on living for years and many years, outside the will of God, but the moment that they will return and seek the Lord again, they will be forgiven. Amen, church? Parents, what is the worst thing that your son can do to you? Anyone? What is the worst thing that your children can do to you? When your children want you dead. One day, one of the sons say, Dad, you are still alive, but I want my inheritance. Hang on. Should not be inheritance given upon the death of someone who is giving the inheritance? That's what the prodigal son said. Dad, I want my inheritance. And even the dad is so hurt because he loved his son. He gave it. And this prodigal son went away and lived among the world up until the time that he squandered everything that he had in one day. Just a simple realization and say, I'm going back to my father. And he did not even say anything. He was so far and the father was come running towards him. You know why? Because the moment that that prodigal son stepped out of that household, that father started crying, kneeling, praying to the Lord, bring back my son. That father probably goes to the window, goes to the mountain top, looking at the horizon for that figure to appear. That is where my son go. If there is a figure that will appear from that direction, I'm sure it is my son. My dear brothers and sisters, that is the same love that the father has towards all of us. Amen. So, 
if the father is like that, if that is the nature of the father, forgiving our multitude of sins, we too in our service must be open in forgiving the multitude of sins of others. Amen. You know, if you forgive someone, it does not mean that the, th the offense did not happen. If you forgive someone, it does not mean that you can easily forget things. No. But you know the blessing in here? How many of us in here? Someone offended you 10 years ago. And up until now, if you remember that, nasasaktan ka. Diba? Merong ganun. Merong ganun. But the greater thing is that's why don't tire forgiving because every time na, nara na nararamdaman mo yung sakit, then forgive. That sometimes even one offense can take 100 or even more forgiveness because the moment na nararamdaman mo na naman, Nandyan na naman yung sakit. But the moment that you feel that pain, then forgive again. Amen, church? So that should be us in the Lord. That genuine love that forgives the multitude of sins. Amen, church? Even forgive even when it hurts. Forgive. Release it. Amen. Can we take a moment and just think about something kung merong mga bagay na kailangan yung i-release your forgiveness? The Lord says, if you will not forgive, you will not be forgiven as well. We just pray in declaration of faith, especially yung mga generational pain. Kung meron man dyan sa puso nyo pa rin. Especially if those people, patay na sila pero yung sakit nandyan pa rin. Why don't we come to the Lord this afternoon and say that Lord, I wanna be like you. I wanna be like you in a way that I can genuinely release forgiveness over all this multitude of sins that I have been subject into. Pain of childhood towards parents, towards lolo, lola, siblings, towards the system. If you feel wronged by the system, release forgiveness. If you've been aggrieved by the system, release forgiveness. Amen, church. In verse 10, it says in here, you know, I mean, verse 9, offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. So it says, serve with generosity. Amen. Serve with hospitality to one another without grumbling. Meaning, serve generously. Amen, church? And when we say generous, what does constitute being generous? Nasabi na to ni Brother Alan kanina. I believe that in order for generosity to exist, there should be two elements of it. Number one, there should be willingness. And number two, there shall be liberalism. Amen. Willingness, my dear brothers and sisters, sabi ni Brother Alan, dapat bukal sa ating kalooban. Amen. Not only in our giving as a form of service, but in everything that we do in serving the Lord. Some people cannot give finances dahil wala silang trabaho, wala silang nakikita, but they can serve the Lord in multiplicity of way. So in serving the Lord, we need to be generous. Generous meaning number one, there should be willingness in our heart. Amen. 
Bukal sa ating kalooban, hindi napipilitan, walang reklamo. Amen. That is willingness to serve. And on top of that, apply liberalism. Ano po yung liberalism? Hindi tipid. Umaapaw, sabi ni Brother Alan. Diba? Umaapaw, siksik, liglig. Amen, Church? Bukas palad. Diba? Ito yung sabi niya, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Not only in our service in the finances, my dear brothers and sisters, let us not be sparing in every form of service na ginagawa natin sa Panginoon. Amen. Every form of service that we do, we do it for the Lord. Amen, Church? Panginoon po yan, mga kapatid. Dapat bigay todo tayo who are employed in here. Amen. Employees, when was the last time you go to work being late? Kailan yung pumasok ka sa trabaho na late ka? When was the last time? See, you cannot even remember it. Why? Bawasan ng sweldo. Warning ng boss. Considering that those jobs are momentary, temporary. But why is it that coming to church palagi tayong late? Are we saying now then that our earthly ministry is more important, bigger, or more relevant than our spiritual ministry? And ito, inaano ko lang, sinasabi ko lang, which is the reality. I'm also preaching to myself. Because sometimes I'm also late. Di ba? That's the reality, my dear brothers and sisters. Amen, church. So let us be willing, let us be liberal. Amen. When we go to work, if the boss is there, dapat ipakita natin sa boss na tayo lang yung masipag, di ba? Na yung kasama natin sa trabaho, eh, walang binatbat sa sipag natin, sa galing natin sa trabaho. Hindi ba? Reality. That's the reason why, especially in the Filipino community, we had a visitor and he was sharing, which na-experience na natin lahat, yung the crab mentality ba? Di ba? Eh ba? Why is it that we come to the church tipid? Hindi tayo makalundag. Hindi tayo makapagtaas ng kamay. Hindi tayo makasayaw. Hindi tayo makapagpuri ng maayos. E eh, di ba dapat ipakita natin sa Panginoon na, Lord, dito sa church na to ako ang may pinakamalakas na lundag. Di ba? No, reality mga kapatid. Amen. Malinaw. Hallelujah. In verse 10, mga kapatid, sabi niya rito, Each one should, sir, should, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully, administering God's grace in various form. Amen. So in serving the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, it says in there, let us serve the Lord with Every gifts that the Holy Spirit enable us. Diba? The Holy Spirit is enabler. So, ano yung palagi nating sinasabi, Lord, without you, we cannot do anything. Without you, we cannot serve. Amen. So, with this passage, mga kapatid, napaka malinaw. Each one of you, hindi niya sinabing chosen, hindi niya sinabing few. Each one of you should use what ever gift that he has received to serve. Amen, church? So my dear brothers and sisters, each one of us is given that gift in serving the Lord, in serving His people, in serving His church. Amen? 
God has given us gifts from His variety of spiritual gifts. Amen, church? Use them to serve His purpose. Use them to serve the church. Amen, church? May this passage open our eyes. Pay attention dito. Sabi niya rito mga kapatid, Romans 12, 4 to 8. For as in one body, we have many members. So as in one church, we have many members. And the members do not all have the same function. So we do many, but are one body in Christ and individually members, one of another. So pay attention in proportion to your faith. If service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhort in his exhortation, the one who continues in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does act of mercy with cheerfulness. Amen, church. The Holy Spirit is known as the enabler. Ano man ang ginagawa mo, kapatid, maski sa ulado mo yan, from back to front, ano man yung whatever it is that you do, even you are filled of experience on that, you cannot do that, you cannot function, you cannot function in that without the enablement of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Even as simple as coming to the front and exhort the giving, Even as simple as coming to the front and pray for the children, even as simple as digging deep in your pocket and giving your offering, my dear brothers and sisters, you cannot do that without the enablement of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So when we talk about the enablement, when we talk about the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, it is not only the gift in tongues, it is not only the gift of healing, it is not only the gift of prophesying. Those are just three of the greater gift of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit gift to you is serving, then serve. If the gift of the Holy Spirit is generosity, then be generous, my dear brothers and sisters. Amen. So what is it telling us, my dear brothers and sisters? We cannot only handpick kung ano yung gusto natin. Hindi natin sabihin na, oy, hindi ako naniniwala sa, sa uh, gift of healing, hindi ako naniniwala sa gift of prophesying, hindi ako naniniwala sa um, uh, gift of tongues. But when I stand in front and utter the prayer, that is also gift. Amen. That is also gift. All or none. Hindi actually yung gift ang inaayawan natin dito, hindi actually yung gift ang putting into question here. It is the giver, which is the Holy Spirit. Even you, you cannot sit down in there for an hour in the sermon without the enablement of the Holy Spirit. It's the gift of patience. Amen, church? So it says in there, in serving the Lord, It is not a secret na sinasabi ko sa inyong lahat that even though you do not come and stand in the front, even though you sit down in there and listen to the word, you are serving as well to us. You are ministering as well to us. Amen, church? Just imagine, the pastor is preaching and walang nakikinig. What's the point of that? What's the use of that? Amen, church? So my dear brothers and sisters, it says in there that in serving the Lord, let us serve the Lord with this variety of gifts that He has given us. Amen. Served with glorification to God. Verse 11, it says in there, if anyone speaks, he should do it as one is speaking the very words of God. If anyone served, he should do it with the strength of God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To Him be glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. 
Let our service, um, uh, let the, our service purpose is to give glory to God. Amen, church? Amen. So, ano man po yung participation natin, ano man po yung service, wala pong maliit, wala pong malaki in the service of the Lord. Amen, church? There is no little, there is no big in the service of the Lord. Because without that little service, the whole service of God, hindi makukompleto. Amen, church? Huwag tayong magpalit. Maski hindi natin alam yung setup dito. The moment na maaga ka, Mr. Bless, the moment na maaga ka, habang nakalood si pastor na nagsisit up dyan, nakatayo siya dyan na joke niya ako, it bless my spirit. Amen. So let everything that we do serves to glorify the Lord. Amen, church. Use whatever it is na meron tayo to glorify the Lord. Amen. Use whatever it is that the Holy Spirit give you as a spiritual gift to glorify God. Amen. Because we cannot use anything na wala tayo. Amen. We cannot use anything na wala tayo. But let us not hinder other people, other brothers and sisters to doing or in celebrating the gift that they have. Amen, church. Amen po. Hindi po tayo pare-parehas ng gift. Kung ano lang yung meron tayo na ibinigay ng Holy Spirit, that is the area that we can operate. But in other area that we do not have, let us not hinder people to do their gift as well. Amen. It does not mean that we do not experience it. It's obscure. It does not mean na hindi natin nararanasan ay hindi totoo. Amen, church. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Are we encouraged? So to end it up, mga kapatid, no? I just want to read the verse 19 to encourage us. It says in there, So then, those who suffer according to God should commit themselves to their faithful Creator and continue to do good. Amen. As a Christian, our Savior, our Master suffered. So as a Christian, let us be with sober mind, expect na magkakaroon po tayo ng suffering. Amen. The best way of entrusting, alam nyo yung the best way na pagtitiwala sa Panginoon in the midst of the suffering? Ano po mga kapatid? What is the best way in telling the Lord that Lord, in the middle of this suffering, wala akong ibang pinagkakatiwalaan if not you. I don't have anyone to trust to apart from you. You know, the best thing is in the middle of suffering, continue to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Despite of the suffering, continue to serve the Lord. You know, last music practice last uh, Friday, siguro sabi, brutal naman tong si pastor. Sister Michelle cannot talk. Sister Michelle is, is struggling. Masama ang kanyang pakiramdam. But we say, Sister Michelle, can you please end us in prayer? That is the best way to shame the enemy. When the enemy afflict you with suffering, and yet, you continue to serve the Lord. Amen, church? Hold on. It's getting near. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Palakasin mo yung iyong kapatid. Encourage your brothers and sisters. Palakasin natin ang bawat isa. Hallelujah. Before we end, I just want to share this na 
ibinigay ng Panginoon sa akin this morning as a burden. It was not originally part of the message. But this is the burden that the Lord put in my heart this morning. Said that, add it to the message. Idagdag mo sa mensahe. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord has given us free will. Amen po. Amen. 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 Do we agree? Amen. The Lord has given us free will. And I want to leave this to all of us to consider. Amen. That God has graced us with varied gifts. Diba? God has graced us with varied gifts, talents, abilities, but most importantly, opportunity for us to grab. Amen, church. The Lord has given you, whoever you are, the Lord has given you talent, skills, abilities. The Lord has given you opportunity to grab. The Lord has given us free will. I can either be a faithful servant and recognize the value and every opportunity that I have. So by doing so, I will commit myself. I will be passionate. I will be willing. I will be available. I will support the work of the Lord. Does it make sense? Amen. Because if you value what God has assigned for you, He will position you to a greater opportunity. Amen, church. If you value what the Lord has given for you, He will position you for a greater capacity. Amen, church. But if you do not value what God has assigned to you, it will be taken from you. That is the message of the parable of the talents. Amen, church. So this calling is for all of us. You want this ailing church to grow? Anyone in here who wants this ailing church to grow? Amen. No, let's be serious. Gusto po ba nating lumago ang ating simbahan na ibinigay ng Panginoon or contento na tayo? Do you want this ailing church to grow, mga kapatid? Amen. Then we'll see you on Tuesdays and Thursdays prayer. We'll see you on Wednesday meetings. We'll see you on Sunday services. Amen. Amen. That is the way. Amen, church. So kung hindi natin naiintindihan, tagalugin ko para maintindihan ta natin. Biniyayaan ka ng Diyos ng mga regalo, talento at kakayahan upang kunin ang pagkakataong kanyang ibinibigay. Maging isang tapat tayong lingkod na kinikilala ang halaga sa bawat pagkakataong mayroon tayo. Magkaroon tayo ng commitment, magkaroon tayo ng sigasig, maging handa tayo, suportahan natin ang gawain ng Panginoon. Dahil kapag pinapahalagahan natin ang itinelaga sa atin ng Diyos na posisyon, ipuposisyon pa niya tayo, pagkakatiwalaan pa niya tayo sa mas malaki at mas higit na kakayahan. Amen, Church! Amen. Ngunit kung hindi natin pinapangalagahan ang itinalaga sa atin ng Diyos, ito ay kanyang aalisin. Let's go back and read the parable of the talents. Yun po ang mensahe na ibinigay ng Panginoon. Again, mga kapatid, this year we are celebrating seven, eight, seven, seven. This year we are celebrating our seven years anniversary. We still 
March, April, May, June, July. We still have five months to prepare. Amen, church. Gusto ba natin in that anniversary tayo-tayo lang ulit? Do we want in that anniversary na tayo-tayo lang ulit? Sama-sama po tayong umiyak sa Panginoon. Sama-sama po tayong lumuhod sa Panginoon. Sama-sama po tayong magdasal sa Panginoon. You know, if there is something that this church is known, Sister Michelle, you know, if there's something that this church is known, leaders, music ministers, if there is something that this church is known according to other churches, especially those mga naka-attend ng uh, Thy Kingdom Come, especially yung mga naka-attend, wow, yung praise in worship dun is iba. Kakaiba. Glory to God. We are a praise and worship honoring church. At na yung sabi ni Doc Eman. A praying church is a powerful church. Amen. I think our praise and worship team is andun na sa level na kung ikukumpara natin is kumbaga nandyan na. We have the life of the children to line up. But siguro kailangan nating slow down, it's step back and palakasin natin yung ibang area ng ating ministry. Whatever it is that we come to do in front, it is serving. So if you want to come and serve in the pulpit, start in the floor. Start on Tuesdays and Thursdays prayer. Women, start on your Wednesday, women. Although, that's how a church will grow, mga kapatid. Kasi kung contento na tayo dyan sa Sunday, pumupunta tayo dito ng Sunday, glory to God in the highest. But, wag maging routine yung ating paninilbihan pagsamba sa Panginoon. Amen po. Be encouraged, mga kapatid. Everything is getting near. Kung ano yung kaya nating ibuhos, ibuhos na natin. Nagsisilbi na rin lang tayo sa Panginoon, ibuhos na natin, itodo na natin. Ibuhos na natin, mga kapatid. Kung meron kayong ideas, if you have ideas, come forward, suggest. Amen. If you have ideas, come forward and suggest. If you have a, big, a better formula than kneeling down in our knees, come and suggest. Amen, church. Can we bring back our music team? Hallelujah. Or, praise the Lord. Oh, we nearly forgot. It's the first Sunday of uh, the month. Sorry. Um, can I ask the um, communion ushers? Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Papuri sa Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat na kami ay iyong kinatagpo. Thank you, Lord that you have met us this afternoon. Thank you, Father, that every piece of this scripture is God's breath. And it is useful for reproaching, for teaching, for training, for learning, so that your people will be perfected for service. Hey Lord, you have given us free will. We can either take your word negatively 
But if we want the fulfillment of your plans in our life, I pray, Father, that we'll take it constructively and apply learning to everything that we have received by faith this afternoon. Let us bring in our ushers. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the life of your dear servants, our dear brother Lando and sister Tess. Thank you for entrusting them the gift of service this afternoon to be the ushers, O God, of this element that we will use for communion. Father, our prayer is prepare them spiritually, prepare their heart, prepare their mind, prepare their whole being, O God, so that as they move around and distribute these elements to your people, it's as if, Father, we are receiving them directly from the hand of your Son, Jesus, who is in them. Lord, for this element, this bread that symbolizes your body, suffered, pierced for our healing, not only physically, but more importantly, spiritually. This drink that symbolizes your blood, O Jesus, shed out on that cross for the forgiveness and remission of our sins. Father, bless them in the raw form. Cause it that as we receive it, as we partake of it, it will serve to us the purposes that you have intended this afternoon. In Jesus' name. Go and distribute and bless the people of God. Father, prepare the hearts of your people as they prepare themselves to partake of this communion. Father God, whatever burden and suffering that may hinder them, in receiving the full measure of this communion remembrance. Lord, reassure them with your words. My son, my daughter, continue serving in spite of the suffering. Continue to be a part of me as you serve through your suffering as saith the Lord Hallelujah Praise you Jesus Even in communion, 
Let us allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us. And let us approach communion by faith. May it be done unto us according to the purpose that our Lord Jesus has instigated these acts for us. Let us lift up the bread. For I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. In the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. Let us take the bread. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Let's lift up the cup. In the same way, after supper, he took a cup And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in memory of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us drink the cup. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are not worthy by any means standard. But thank you, Father, that you even allow us to partake the body and blood of your Son, Jesus, in an act of communion, remembering not only His suffering, His death, and His resurrection, but Lord, His perfect, complete, finished work, O God, that enables us to enjoy the freedom, the salvation, the deliverance, the enablement that we have today that enable us to serve you despite of the suffering. Let us bring in the music team, mga kapatid. And Hallelujah. Mga kapatid, my dear brothers and sisters, I don't know where you are at the moment, but one thing I know, as you consider yourself as a servant of Christ, as a Christian, says in there that let us equip our mind with the reality that Jesus suffered. So I know that each and every one of us, some may be suffering at the moment. Some may be have recently overcome a suffering. But one thing I know, all of us will continue to experience momentary future suffering. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us this afternoon.
equipped with His words. My dear brother, my dear sister, whoever you are, this is for you. This is you. The Lord has called you. The Lord has given you ability. Seize the moment. Seize the moment. In fact, I will encourage you to receive from the Lord a fresh new anointing. No, no one can operate. No one can serve without the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So if you are really committed in serving the Lord, ask for that anointing. You know, the pastor cannot give that. Neither the leaders cannot give that. The Holy Spirit can and the Holy Spirit will if you earnestly desire it. Let's come to the Lord just as we are. Let's come to the Lord just as we are.
My dear brothers and sisters, can you not perceive it? Can you not see it? Let us open our eyes. The Lord is wanting to do a brand new things among us. The Lord has started a brand new things among us. He's making a roadway in the wilderness. He's building a rivers in the desert. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is preparing to pour out for this church. The Lord is preparing to pour out for this church. We cannot receive it with the old wine skin. We cannot receive it with the old white skin. We cannot receive it with the old anointing. We cannot receive it with the old gifts. We cannot receive it with the old manifestation that is the reason why that the Lord is the Lord of second chances renew your bats my dear brothers and sisters renew your bats renew those anointing desire the renewed anointing my dear brothers and sisters a renewed manifestation my dear brothers and sisters desire a fresh new standing with the Lord you know our former standing it fails it is corrupted. No, sometimes if it has been used for a long time, we need renewal. But in order for renewal to come, there first needs to be realization. Lord, open the heart of your people. Open the spirit of your people. Lord, teach us understanding. Give us a sound mind, a sober mind, O God, to realize that we need more of you. We need your fresh presence. We need fresh presence, oh God. Lord, raise up people from among this church that will kneel down and cry and pray. Raise up a brother, sister, who is hunger, who hungers and thirsts for your presence and for your company. Father, raise up a brother or a sister that desires to do your will, that desires to stand for the truth. Lord, 
Wake up your pastor. Wake up the leaders. Wake up the ministry members. Wake up the men. Wake up the women. Wake up the youth and the children. Wake up this church, O oh God. Wake up this church, Lord. You have given us coming seven years to cease to grab the opportunity. Lord, we are not asking for another seven years to wake up. Father, wake us up right now. Wake us up right now. My dear brothers and sisters, kapatid, ate, kuya, nakakabatang kapatid, Mr. Mrs. If we are truly for the Lord, we need to cry for this church. We need to cry for this church. For the fresh new revelation, for the fresh new anointing, we need to cry for the supernatural and spiritual ability. I urge you, mga kapatid, I plead. I petition with the same petition and prayer that our Lord Jesus ask for all the believers. Believe in the Lord. Believe in the power of His mind. Believe that the Lord has prepared something great for you and through you. You just have to be willing. You just have to be committed. You just have to be ready. You just have to be available. Desire a servant heart. Desire a servant heart. Mga kapatid, this church is not looking for ministers. This church are seeking for servants with a servant heart. Ministry, ministering is the act that we are going to do to apply but my dear brothers and sisters what drives that is that being a servant that servant heart Let us pray. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Lord, continue to encourage your people 
to arm and equip them for service despite of the suffering, O God. Lord, let your encouragement that the end is getting near will not only bring us comfort and relief, Father God, knowing that our current struggle and suffering is temporary and momentary, but more than that, Father, may it encourage us to be on fire. May encourage us to all the more be passionate, be committed, be available, be willing to support your work because knowing that the end is coming near, Lord, you have a multitude outside who are yet to come to know you. Inside families, there are husbands, there are wives, there are children, there are loved ones who are yet to receive you, who step back from you, who move far and distance themselves from you. Lord, in spite that we say in one end, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. Complete and end the sufferings of your people. But Father, in the other end, we cry to you, and say, Lord, be merciful. Lord, you are not slow in slack and keeping your promises as one knows being slack. But the reason that you delay your coming because it is your will, Father, that none will be perish. It is your will, O oh Father, that all will come to repentance and come to the knowledge of truth. That, Lord, Father, you have raised this church you have built this church. You have gathered people upon this church. Lord, it is about time. According to your will, according to our cries and prayer, aligning our, our prayer in you, Father, it is about time, O oh God, that you pour out a fresh, brand new spirit upon your people. It is high time, O oh God, that you use these people my brothers and sisters, for your greater purpose, for your greater glory, O God. It is about time, Lord, that you equip my dear brothers and sisters that gift, that spirit of servanthood, Father God. Test me on this, the say it the Lord. See if I will not open the floodgates of heaven. You know that floodgates of heaven 
It describes many things. It describes many things. The greater blessing that a servant of God can have, that a church of God can have, is that the life of the multitudes that will be ushered in His kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, I encourage us all, whatever our motives, whatever our plans, whatever our desire is, let's give it to the Lord. Let's give it to the Lord. Let us surrender it to the Lord. At song that kung ang church na ito ay magtatapat, alam natin na mayroong magagawa ang Panginoon. Kung ang church na ito ay magtatapat, alam natin na may magagawa ang Panginoon. Be encouraged, church. May the Lord God bless you all and let us continue serving the Lord and serving one another, serving the people that the Lord has entrusted to us to serve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Maari po ba, mga kapatid, na ibalik natin sa Panginoon ang pinakamataas na papuri, pagsamba at pagdakila, more than clapping our hands, magsambit tayo ng papuri sa Panginoon. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise you, Lord Jesus! Praise you, Lord Jesus! Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord, at uh, to your family. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa uh, uh, wishes and uh, prayer. Uh, <coughs> Pagin sa Paginoon, ang pag-usapan, <laughs> emotional ako yan. I just want to ask uh, Lord and claim uh, Pakasalamat <laughs> uh, uh, About my two sons and not only my son and all of the son and daughter here uh, uh, Respect your uh, your parents uh, and love your parents as uh, love your uh, your God and and always uh, think uh, whatever uh, the parents they have planned or they they build something. It's meant to say that uh, they are not alone. They are also uh, yep participated that plan uh, even you, you don't know everything they are built you are there because uh, your friends they love you too much they love you and children uh, 
respect your parents uh, because uh, lalong lalo na pagkailangan kayo sa they need you most uh, you're always there and uh, support them because your parents you ever know how they love you it's only my uh, ask the Lord and God you always hallelujah maraming salamat po Sige nga po mga kapatid, why don't we extend our hands sa ating brother Lando. And can we take this opportunity na since binati natin siya, since we have greeted him, happy birthday and all that, can we take this opportunity to, to speak and release blessing sa kanyang buhay? Sige po mga kapatid, come on people of God, just speak blessing, just speak release blessing. Sa ating kapatid, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, mama, shikia, Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, na mama si Kiyaraba. Receive by faith our dear brother Lando. Receive by faith our dear brother Lando. Father, may all the prayer uttered and ushered in this place for our dear brother Lando. Father, you know him. You know his current suffering, struggle, situation kung meron man, Panginoon. But more than that, we thank you because we all have learned today that whatever it is that we are going through are just but mere temporary. And they are just light and incomparable to the future and eternal glory with you. So, Father, our prayer upon our brother is continue, Father God, to strengthen him, continue to equip him, Father, so that he will not faint on that walk with you. Father, continue to lead him, guide him, call him in that path, Father God. And Father, thank you that you're gonna shower him with the ability with the presence, with the enablement that the Holy Spirit can bring so that He may continue to serve you in all honesty and truth, O God. Lord, whatever it is that is burdening Him at the moment, Father, release those burdens right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you all, church. Hallelujah. Praise. Come on, church. Masalamatan po natin ang ating Panginang Diyos.
Hallelujah. Praise. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, um, uh, siguro our schedule is, uh, we'll have a break. Uh, or are we going to wait for, ano, Sep and Ken, or anong oras po ba sila, ano? Or can we proceed? Yeah. So, we have a break. Mag, ano po tayo, no? Let's uh, have some meal and all that. Once we have rested, um, siguro tulong-tulong tayong iset up yung church. And then after that, mag, uh, ano siguro, not unless kung nagmamadali po kayo, then by all means, uh, you can go. But uh, kung pwede, ituloy natin yung naumpisahan natin last time. Um, uh, let's sit down, let us uh, um, uh, do a little bit of uh, sharing and let's pray. Marami po tayong kailangang ipagdasal. Amen po. Thank you, thank you.